Hi, I'm Paul Grice, Chief Executive of the Scottish Parliament. Working in the Parliament provides an opportunity to be at the forefront of seeing how laws and policies affecting all people in Scotland are made. We're looking to recruit 20 apprentices over the next few years and specifically we're seeking to recruit 11 apprentices in 2015. The Parliament is a vibrant modern workplace with a mixture of members, staff and visitors. You might even get the chance to be on TV and not many workplaces can boast that. We recognise the benefits of taking on apprentices. We, as an employer, want to make a substantial investment into giving young people the chance to enter the labour market and build a career in the Parliament. And we're keen to be an employer that attracts enthusiastic young people. The Parliament is a diverse organisation. We're always looking for new talent to inject different ideas and fresh thinking. In return, we offer a great organisation in which to work and from which to launch your career. Our staff consistently tell us how proud they are to work for the Parliament. Traditionally, apprenticeships were seen as only for certain types of jobs and suitable only for those without academic ability. That's not our view. Today, apprenticeships are seen as a viable alternative to university, another route to further education while gaining valuable work experience at the same time. In the Parliament, we offer opportunities working in IT, supporting parliamentary business, visitor services, events and also security. You will have the opportunity to use your different talents to develop new skills to help build a successful career. And you can be assured that each apprenticeship is important and everyone on the programme will get excellent development opportunities. By taking part in this programme, you will gain a high quality, recognised vocational qualification. If you're between the ages of 16 and 24, and are looking for an exciting and interesting start to your career, why not find out more via Facebook, Twitter or the Scottish Parliament website?